Hello and welcome everyone to a new demonstration video. So today we'll be looking at a tool uh, basically that is available in your web server format as well as in the form of an application and the name of that particular tool is Open Babel. So this is a very easy tool to use but it is having multiple applications in drug biology as well as your bioinformatics, chemoinformatics. So it is a very useful tool. Uh, tool yet it is very easy to use so i will uh, make you habituated with the ui of that particular tool so i will tell you how to install it how to use it okay and how can you utilize the web server also in case if you don't want to download that particular application how can you use that particular uh, thing in the uh, web server way okay so let's get started without further ado so basically I am using a windows system for this because for Mac it is not having an application yet but for Mac or any other system so you can utilize the uh, web server for that particular purpose okay so so getting on to the so you can simply type uh, type in the name of it that is your open babble so first thing what it is used for okay so that you we need to know so basically this particular tool is used to convert between the formats so there are different formats in uh, bioinformatics um, okay so that uh, the data varies okay so based on that particular data you have to uh, change the data okay so or convert uh, into different formats for different requirements of the project okay or to pursue something else uh, so you have to change the format for that particular thing you can use open babel okay so just like for example if you are doing a docking you need a pdbqt instead of pdb so you have to convert your pdb to pdbqt and in some of the some of the tools you will be requiring FASTA. in some of them you will be uh, for a molecular format you might be requiring a smile or a sdf okay so you can uh, change between the formats so this is the basic uh, web server based uh, search okay so you can drag drop okay or paste your uh, input molecule over here or here also okay so once you uh, opt for this so you have to select between the formats what is this particular input format is all about okay and what is the change format so for example it has already done that uh, the input format is in the form of a smile so what is a smile basically if you don't know so smile is just like another format to represent your chemical thing okay so just just how you have a IUPAC similar to that you have a formula called as your smile formula okay so that is your smile format it is represented in this way okay and the output format you can select uh, what output format you want to convert it into okay so here by default it is having um, MDL molecular format okay so once you hit on the convert so it will be converted as simple as that okay so I will show you the demonstration using the uh, tool basically or the application. So once we go into this, okay, so open Babel, GUI it is called as, okay. So you can hit on download, okay. So once you hit on download, so it will start downloading. See uh, the countdown has started. So it will be starting downloading. Yes. So it is taking some time to download. So here you can see that the download is done so simply you have to hit on the download and it will be downloaded like here you have the executable file so i will click on the executable file so it is asking for the administrative password so let me get in the password and then we will resume okay okay so i have entered the administrative password and now i can hit on yes and so here it is showing the next step so you can go to next agree okay so then you can browse or change the location of it by default it will be suggesting good only so you can hit on next and then install okay so once you hit on the install so the all the packages will be installed so faster installation it is because it is a very small uh, memory occupying software okay so now you can hit on finish okay so once you hit on the finish so here it will open up like this okay so this is the particular ui as you can see so the same ui uh, as what you were getting in uh, uh, the web server page okay now here you can either select okay select from here 
okay select from here if you have downloaded any format or you can directly uh, like uh, uh, paste it over here so by example i will show you how to do the things okay so let's uh, minimize it for time being and we can go to let's let's uh, let's first convert a smile format again to a sda format okay so how to do that so how to get a smile basically you can go to pub cam for that pub cam zinc or drug bank or any other uh, uh, like uh, molecular based tool you can go to okay pub cam we are going to so once we go to pub cam so we can you can type in your uh, interest molecule name over here okay so or i am taking a, one of the example that is aspirin over here so i'll go to the aspirin so here i get inside it okay so i just have to extract the smile okay so once you scroll down you will be having the smile formula over here here is the smile okay so i will just simply copy it okay copy it from here okay open our tool so here is the tool so i will input below i will tick and i will paste it over here okay so once i paste it over here you can see so i have to select the format as what is it smile okay so our input format is smile okay and what output format we want in this particular case we'll be going for sdf so that is another molecular format okay so once i hit on this so, so i will hit on convert so it will be converted see how fast it is okay so this particular format of uh, smile format is converted to your sdf format and sdf format is most widely used so if you want to visualize this particular thing or if you want to use it for some other analysis most of the time you will be using sdf format okay so this is the sdf format 3d coordinates are also generated over here okay so that is how you convert okay so let's take uh, another example and do it by some other means okay so the second example i would like to take is of your pdb okay so many type of formats are there so you can uh, go to go over here and you can see that plethora of options are there okay so based on that you can select okay so now i am going for a pdb to pdb qt so what is a pdb qt basically pdb qt is a format used for your docking purposes okay so when you are you are going for docking you need to present that particular molecule in pdb qt format okay any kind of do docking but mostly auto dock vena will be utilizing pdb qt okay so let's go to pdb for this particular demonstration so we're going for pdb uh, you can choose your protein of interest uh, just for the sake of uh, example i am taking uh, any 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 protein i can take let's suppose alpha amylase or sorry alpha yeah alpha amylase maybe i'm taking so once i take the alpha amylase uh, so one bag is the id okay over here so either what i can do i can go to display file and i can go to pdb format and i have to copy that and paste it so that is a cumbersome task instead what is easier we can go to download files okay uh, go to download files and uh, hit on the pdb format okay so see it is downloaded one bg dot pdb okay so it is already once it is previously also downloaded that is why one is coming okay so what is it downloaded so i will go to this particular over here and i will uh, deselect this input below because i will be selecting from the files now okay so instead of this let us select pdb so you can type in well just write on p and it will be uh, going to the p real quick okay so pdb format we are selecting so i will go to the files okay so here i have it see in the downloads i have this one okay uh, so this is our file we have downloaded just now so i will hit on open so here you can see this is the pdb format so it's a very long format actually so okay so here you can see so you can uh, see about the format and now we want to change it to pdb qt okay so again hit on p so just like dictionary it will uh, list out your p very uh, p lettered words so pdb qt we are selecting okay over here so if you want the output over here you can select this and hit on convert so it will take some time to convert okay so yes it will occupy some of the cpus over here so after that 
so it might uh, sometimes show not responding but actually it is working so as it is a heavy work so it might uh, take some time uh, and after that you will be seeing that it has converted the format into pdb qt okay so let's just wait for that this converting so yes so so based on that so there are multiple formats you need to convert a, a, like any format to any format you can do but yes one thing is there if it is a 2d to 3d so you have to click on certain things um, uh, over here like uh, if a residue is missing okay so you can select on this to like get the residues and uh, d you want to delete hydrogen if you want to delete the hetero atom that it will also do let's suppose you want to have a clean protein you can also do pdb to pdb okay but what kind of conversion like pdb to pdb you want to clean the hetero atom so you can clean or uh, click on remove hetero atoms okay uh, remove hydrogens okay uh, like the water if you want to remove remove water so likewise you can click over here and then you can convert to the same format but in a cleaned way or if you want to clean uh, something in between also that also is feasible using this particular open babel okay it actually utilizes uh, coding uh, in the in the background basically okay so python base and java is also used over here okay so yes it is taking some time to convert so you can just wait for some minutes because it is a very long format that is why it is taking some time otherwise it will uh, give the answer in uh, very quick succession okay so yes here we are basically it has converted so one molecule converted here you can see one molecule converted and you can see the clear change in the format okay from pdb to pdb qt here you can see the format is very much different to that of your pdb okay so yes that is it what i wanted to demonstrate today so this is a simple tool to use but it has plethora of application where it comes to your drug biology chemoinformatics you want to visualize something or if you want to go for docking everything so it uh, this particular tool comes very handy okay so that is all for today's demonstration if you want more of such demonstration please write down in the comment section what next demonstration you want okay so and that is all from my side thank you and have a nice day ahead